Hey Tanta Darlings, welcome back to Normie CTV where we keep things real. This video is going to be about how my back was against the wall and going to DA school, dental assistant school, was my only option um, if, I want, if I wanted to bounce back in school. Just a quick run through. For the sake of this video, I was in hygiene school, didn't take it seriously the first time around, ended up failing, failing two classes. Um, the classes were dental anatomy and radiology lecture. So I had to wait until those classes were offered again. When the classes were offered again, I took them and passed them. Dental anatomy is tough learning the first semester, depending upon how your school chooses to coordinate the, their particular program. So just, you know, be mindful of that when you are accepted into the, your program. Anyway, I was allowed to proceed to the next semester. Clinicals went well. A few lectures were shaky due to me working and not being able to study as I should. It was a huge it was a huge surprise that I failed two classes again, but a big surprise that the program director told me that I failed three classes and that I could no longer return to the program. Yes, I was embarrassed. I walked out of her office, thanking, for, thanking her for the opportunity to be in the program. Then I left her office thinking fast because <laughs> I, I was scared. The same day, I went to, the same day was the fitting ceremony of the class that I should have been graduating with had I did what I needed to do the first time. For those of you who don't know what a pitting ceremony is, it's a symbolic welcoming of newly graduated or soon to be graduated healthcare professionals um, into that profession that signified with nursing, sometimes, you know, like I said, dental hygiene, respiratory tech, and so on and so on. So they put out like a little pin signifying whatever, um, whatever brand or, you know, one that is. It's a beautiful ceremony to say the least. Moving forward, I stayed during the ceremony and watched all of my former classmates get pinned with a cute little tooth-shaped brooch and then it was the H in bold letters. I stayed because I figured that it was a push that I needed to sit me down and buckle up and do what I need to do as an expiring dental hygienist. I will stay strong and I won't cry. I promise I won't cry. That same day, I was all over the internet searching, searching, searching for schools that I could attend and transfer to because um, enough was enough for me and playtime was over and I wasn't taking no for an answer. By the grace of God, I found a school that wasn't too far from my home and I had all the classes that I needed, like all the prereqs that I needed in order, in order to get into that program. There were just, I was just missing one thing though, a CDA license that you have to obtain from a dental assisting program. Um, I looked up which DA schools were quote accredited by God's grace. Again, there was one close by my house. I got accepted into the 13 month program. I completed the, the, the dental assistant program June 17th, 2020, and I took my national boards August 20th, 2020, due to the fact that COVID-19 had all the testing centers closed. I figured, um, I figured great, more awesome, you know, more time for me to study. And yes, I passed all three sections of the Danby, which is general chair side is one, radiology is two, and then infection control is the third one. The exam is easy, but it wasn't hard. It was doable. I'll do a separate video on how I study to pass the Danby for the sake of this video here. For those of you who willingly want to go to DA school, I wish you all the best and you and my prayer, my prayers are with you. You're going to not. It's tough but fair because it prepares you for like literally real life dental assisting. Um, it really does. For those of you who were forced to go to DA school like me, um, like myself, and you'd like to continue your education afterwards, know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. So please don't give up on your dreams because... Um, the going got tough. Please do not give up because I'm not going to give up in guess what? You're not going to give up either. We're in this together. With that being said, I believe in double honor. So if your back is against the wall and you're not understanding what's going on or why is it happening to you, just trust in the Lord for those of you who believe and just know that you will be victorious. Because guess what? I'll be victorious as well. Just so I'm right, right along with you. I'll be victorious too. Because now that you're graduating as a dental assistant, you can become certified and work as a CDA, certified dental assistant, for more money, or you can go back to school and be certified in both dental assisting and dental hygiene. That way you can make double the money. You see what I mean about double honor? Um, things can and will turn around in your favor. Just trust, believe, and have faith. And but also but most importantly, have faith with footwork. So you do have to be studying and doing what you need to do. So yeah, like I said, faith with footwork. That pretty much completes this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Nomi family. And I will see you in the next video. Just for the record, 
Um, my shirt says um, spit happens. Um, it says spit happens, suck it up. Um, hashtag dental assisting life because as a dental assistant, you'll be suctioning everything that the doctor is doing. You are whether suctioning behind him, him or her, whatever it is that they're doing. You have to make sure that, that the mouth remains dry. But I will keep a separate video for that. I got this shirt off of Etsy.com. Just type in Spit Happens Dental Assisting T-shirt and then it'll pop up. And then something else too I wanted to mention, CDA, Certified Dental Assistant. When you get your licensing, you're not a regular dental assistant. Now you're a certified um, dental assistant. Any other comments or questions you may have, like CDA school, what is Danby, uh, any other things, just comment below. And I will definitely be sure to get back to you. And that completes this video. Have a great day and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Bye.